Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google and Wiley Fox is a new company to the smartphone game. It hails from my home country and wants to set the bar for what specs you can expect for relatively little outlay. This is the company's flagship phone, the Storm, and this is a very quick review. Now Wiley Fox certainly knows how to make a good looking phone. It has an attractive sandstone black back that's soft to the touch. It also happens to have these little flourishes of style that catch the eye. The embossed fox emblem, the orange metal trim around the camera and the shiny angle cut edges all help give the phone an aesthetically pleasing look. Even the rectangle grid of machined holes under the bright orange Wiley Fox logo covering the loudspeaker is attractive. It's not just about the looks though, it's about the feels too. The soft texture combined with the slight curve on the back make what is a pretty big phone feel comfortable in hand. This is helped further by having the volume and power buttons placed within easy reach of my right thumb. Turn it around and the phone has a large 5.5 inch Full HD display panel that isn't perfect but is still a very good display. Whites aren't as clean as I'd like but colours and sharpness are really great. Whether I was reading news, playing games or watching videos I had no serious complaints over the quality of the screen or the imagery. Sadly the same can't be said of the camera. Taking pictures with the main 20 megapixel camera on the back often led to images lacking in colour and sharpness, and often with noise and haze creeping in, even in bright conditions. But as front cameras go though, the 8 megapixel snapper and its LED flash can take some of the best selfies I've seen from a phone at least as good as they can be with me in them. Now Wiley Fox has decided to use the often maligned Snapdragon 615 processor to run the Android Lollipop based Cyanogen system. For the most part it does a great job, undoubtedly that's thanks in part to the generous 3GB of RAM. The experience is fast and fluid most of the time, and the built in customization options let you change all sorts of settings. Like whether you want to use the capacitive buttons on the front, which can light up in different colours, or change status bar icons, screen temperature and set different themes and fonts. It's a very customizable software experience, albeit a clean and light one that doesn't really bog the phone down too much. Now battery life could be better, it can probably just make it through one day's use with a full charge, but it'd be a tough ask to demand more from the 2500 mAh cell. And no thanks to a software bug, I had issues monitoring my battery usage effectively, and that didn't help at all. As an all round experience, the phone offers a great deal for £200, but it's not without its competition. Alcatel's OneTouch Idle 3 costs less and offers similar specs and arguably a better performance. The OnePlus X is a smaller device but is made from more premium materials and it has much better battery life. Clearly, then, this phone isn't a runaway winner. But if you like the design and are a fan of Cyanogen OS, you'll not find many phones better than the Wiley Fox Storm. I'm Cam Bunton, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, you can find me on there, tweet me your questions or use the comment section down below and I'll get involved as and when I can. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you do want to see more of our content. And I'll see you again soon.